back to here he comes cut away for speeds to the boundary short and wide it will be punished and was great start by Verinda Seva such a talented player and a strong player square through the offside it went like a tracer bullet 13 for no wicket with that four Oh, beautifully played. I just love it when he turns his right hand over left and times the ball so well. It's a noble call, but what a wonderful stroke. Outside edge and speeds down. It really is. <laughs> How long do you suppose it took for that ball to get from the outside edge of that back to the boundary? Runs. Four of them. Sachin Tendulkar will enjoy the stuff from Shabir Ahmed. Beautifully played. It's time. In front of square. And by Sivag. Just so much time he seemed to have then to play that shot. Well, this is such a good shot from Sevag. It's a back foot push through mid wicket. Not attacking. Out. Outside edge, the wicket falls, and a big one it is too for the Pakistanis. So uh, Shabir, well, he's been a bit wayward, he's been a bit expensive, but he's got out a very dangerous batsman. Fine, four. Nice way to get off the mark. Little half volley leg stump, just the old fashioned leg glance, if you like. Leg glide, nicely played. Oh, this is such a good shot. He just waded into that one, and it's gone for four. That's artistic. Heels. Certainly is great to watch. He cracks should be through the covers off the back foot. Impossible. Impossible to get to that. Yusuf Yohana was at third man. Really good shot. It's taken the sting out of that one. Is it going to be enough? I think he's managed it. Vivius Lakshman is really picking up some useful runs in that favourite area square on the offside. Injamam is feeling the pinch. Ganguly, cool as a cucumber up in the pavilion. Batsman doing their job. That's four. It's a glorious four. It's just a treat to watch. Nothing wrong with the delivery. And Tendulkar at his best in that shot. Deliberate or uh, was it an adjustment that he made after the ball was met. That's four runs more to India and Tendulkar. Mohamed Sami needs answers. That's another beautiful shot that we've seen this afternoon. It's another confirmation that Tendulkar is in good form. It's another four to third man. And I think this is more deliberate than the first one. It certainly was deliberate and classy oh Mohamed Sami has picked up the wicket of Tendulkar here oh what a big blow this is for India Mohamed Sami has been expensive but again showing his virtues as a wicket taker in the side he's got the big one in a big match Saurabh Ganguly the captain comes in at number four third man has got no chance he's a glorious timer through the offside it's 95 for two it's a right in the middle and the ball just scurries away. That's a good shot through the onside. No one wants to chase it. Consequently, it's going to bring up a boundary. Well, it brings the 100 up there for the Indians in just 18.4 overs. Nice well saved. Mohamed Sami. He's just bowling over, so it's a good effort from the quickie. This guy is a fantastic cricketer. I think he's a potential superstar in years to come for the Pakistanis. Not only is he pretty good with the ball, but against the South Africans, he was quite prepared to dive like this. Oh, it's just brilliant. I don't see too many fast bowlers in the world do stu does stuff like this. Just athleticism. Brilliant athleticism. Once again, point, deep point has got no chance. So Razak not able to uh, keep that line of leg stump to Ganguly. He's so strong through point. You can have five guys through there. Aage, kar, yaar, aage, no, no chance. And smack for four. Very good shot. But the placement was the key. Got it right in the right spot. 
making room and what a shot exquisite bit of timing from vvs lux making room to put it through the cover area tremendous strike no slip in place that will run, run away no lock up the razak can do about it gets a run gets the 50 tremendous knock effortless and uh, very elegant first 50 for Vivius Luxman against Pakistan. The crowds are up, they're appreciating his efforts. That's put away in the air. Will it be taken? Oh, dropped! What a miss. Stafi Kumar, who probably caught the sun, I'm not too sure, but Abdul Razak, I thought Imam Ulak is, is disappointed. This would have been a crucial blow. Well, it was a short ball, and definitely looking straight into the sun. He, di he didn't lay a glove on it, so it had to have gone in the sun at the wrong time. Ganguly gets an outside edge, he's absolutely furious with himself. It's not the first time we've seen him do it, and it's not the first time that we've seen Shoaib Akhtar be brought back into the attack. Bowling, Mohamed Sami back into the attack for Shoaib Akhtar, and he clean balls Raoul Dravid, middle stump out of the ground, and much delight for the home crowd. Well, Rahul Dravid looks to force a shot. I think that was the emphasis here. This is a full-length delivery, first ball of the year for Sami. Nice and straight. And Rahul Dravid was looking to hit it powerfully. Yuvraj Singh. What? Yeah, Malik, come on. Loose delivery. And Shwab Malik will have to do better than that because Indian pair will be looking for some big hits here. A lovely timing now. This ball will win the race from Kofi Kumar. Great piece of timing from Vivius Luxman. And he ramps it down to third man. Will it be four? Oh, and it is. Well, a huge boundary, huge over there for the Indians. Luxman going for a big one. Has he found the gap? Yes, he has. Kofi Kumar is a sprawl out there. That was uh, the placement that outdid the fielder. Put away beautifully. Yovraj Singh looking to come to his front foot to attack, then held back his posture. Shweb Malik pitching the world short, great shot. And that's gone in there. Will in Zamamul Haq keep his cool? He is a very, very safe fielder. Shabir Ahmed has come back and he has picked up a vital wicket of Yovraj Singh. He is a cool customer when things are tough and a lot of pressure in he went high Inzaman's getting underneath it he's called for it looking what staring this ball down here he knows everyone in the world's watching and bang no he doesn't miss them he's class and Shabir's got his second wicket for the match and just Yuvraj Singh has gone for 18 oh great placement that will go to the boundary Shweb Malik has got to do better than that and Zaman Mulhak can only hold his head in his palms and do nothing about it bad bowling welcome to captaincy sir <laughs> it's tough on 99 tremendous hundred his first hundred against Pakistan and uh, getting it here packed house of Qadhafi Stadium Lahore the mates are out there in the balcony 500s in a row without even a 50 He's got that one uh, past Shabir and away to the boundary. That's going to fall into the hands of Sami and he takes it comfortably. So Show Malik gets a reward. The wonderful innings comes to an end. Patan's got it into the gap. That's a good shot. It's 261 for six. Mid on on the right of screen is back. Mid off. He's up. A tight offside field. Well, that was interesting. Shoah Bakhtar uh, saw him coming and decided to abort. And I think uh, might have mentioned to him, uh, you keep walking towards me, son, and it might be the last walk you take. The distracting thing was he went to the right. It looked like he stood away from the crease. Then he came back onto the line of the stumps. I thought initially, too, he'd, he'd, he'd pulled back from striking. He sort of just gave himself a bit of room towards leg stump. That distracted Akhtar. And then he decided to hang on to the ball and have a good look at what Kaif was trying. Straight to Inzamam. Inzamam's determined to hit the stumps. He has. Now, is umpire Shepard going to have a look at it? 
No, he's happy. And it's an overthrow. Third man. And he's dropped it. Second drop catch for Tofik Omar down there. It wasn't easy. You have to run in. You have to make a decision to either go for the catch or to defend the boundary. Probably takes a second, a half a second to just pick up the, the line and the length of it. That's going to fall short of deep mid-wicket. Gone to Patan's end. Probably had more chance of getting Kaif. Slow one, and he's got that well. Won't clear the rope, but it'll bring four. Shoaib is not happy. Now, very frustrated, isn't he? The head's still going back. It's halfway back in his run-up. He is spewing. He just waits for it, and then the wrist comes through last. Timed it well. He may not slow this one up. Mid on his back. And that's four more. Two full. That's a good over for India, 274 for six. Mid-off has a chance. And taken this time at deep mid-off, so uh, that'll be a very relieved Torfik Umar. He got everything underneath the catch, didn't he, Torfik? Taken by Mohan Khan. Good catch by the keeper. And it's called a no ball. Obviously, the uh, ball considered to be fast and above waist height. It's well struck. Mid on going back. It's cleared him. It's now 43 runs from 25 balls. He's really blossoming the blade. Balaji right in the slot. But you don't expect the tail ender to hit that for six. Third ball of his innings. Yusuf Johanna had his backside right on the rope. And that's busted the bat. Yusuf Johanna in quickly. He's got a chance at a run out, but the ball hits the uh, batsman, Balaji. Well, that's uh, reminiscent of Rodney Marsh against uh, New Zealand, although Rodney's uh, bat. He was, uh, his came out, the handle came out of the blade. This one's just snapped off. Maybe he's got a cork back. Whatever it is, Patan will be going hard. And so too will Akbar. Well, it's close to being uh, another no ball. They were thinking about uh, playing for a second. So the innings has finally ended with uh, India at 293 for seven. That's me, Papa. Oh, cleaned him up. Loose shot from Yasser Amit. What a delivery, what a breakthrough. Balaji has done the job. Well, that's a huge wicket of, uh, we'll just see how the other lad goes at the other end, but this man just lost his stumps, has been the backbone of the Pakistan opening innings. Nasir Amid loses his off stump. Balaji is over the moon. Here's the appeal again, that's what he's got to be careful of. But it's too late. He's got out in exactly the same manner as the one that we've just shown you from the last game. So, 10 out of 10 to Irfan Patan. Make that 13 for two. Beautiful strike. He was a good driver. Dafi Kumar. Oh, great shot. Dafi Kumar is uh, loving this from Balaji. Couple of smashing drives. Oh. Four more. 12 from the over, 21 for two. Bowl him out, knock the leg stump down. Tafik getting far too far across. And India completely in control here now. Missed the line completely now. He's got this habit of walking across and looking to play 
extensively through the offside, forgot where his leg stump was. Terrific blow, Irfan Patan is having the ball out there. Exposed that leg stump for about half a second and that was enough. He's got it through, Tendulkar in chase. He won't get there, he's given up. That's four to Yunus Khan. And Zamamul Haq is the man for Pakistan. The captain of Pakistan, his team in a lot of trouble. That's for that was the only way he could have stopped runs. A dive, a lunge. There's no point chasing it. And I think it's the Indian captain that's flat on the back there. In the mom's first boundary. Time. Power with ease. The captain, how does he land? On his right side. Has he jarred something? Has he hyperextended something? He's still down. The doctor comes out to the field and uh, there you can see Saro Gangli being carried off on a stretcher. As the policemen who are carrying the stretcher, that's the first time for me. But there's quite a mishap there for India. Now Balaji's back. So, this is what happens uh, when you have an interruption. It just breaks the rhythm. Either it's the batsman or the bowler. This time in Zimam capitalizing one of the rare times Balaji's off line and off length and Inzaman makes him pay over pitch delivery for more 49 for three Pakistan he's got it through that's four all you have to do is uh, pierce the inner ring another very good shot from Yunus Khan brings up the 50 for Pakistan it's poor bowling and it's punished by Inzimam, which is not a surprise. Pakistan, 58 for three. Oh, it's gone. It's gone straight to Yuvraj Singh. It's Irfan Patan who struck again for India. And it's again that over pitch delivery outside the off stump. He's got a few of these Pakistani batsmen driving this young man. It's been tremendous. Yunus Khan seeing the width, seeing the length looking to play a square drive has to get his knee on the ground and Yuvraj Singh taking a comfortable catch at point that's beautifully timed by Inzaman Dan is still on once he's at the crease and it was 7 for 2 India were after their 20th over down the wicket over the top but out not all the way over the top Tendulkar the man on the long arm boundary they might look to see whether there was a foot somewhere near the rope but uh Setin Tendulkar knows what a vital, vital wicket that is. Well, if he's claimed the catch, he should be out. Tendulkar had long gone in Zamam, wasn't liking this line too much. And at any stage of the match, he'll take a big risk. Generally, it comes off. This went a bit too flat. If Tendulkar is claiming a catch, he's one player you can trust in the world. That was so close to the skirting and under the conditions, just the importance of that catch the wicket and how close he was to that row in the deep the back that they wanted to see in Zimams 87 for 5 Pakistan I've never seen Sachin Tendulkar as animated as this in my life before it's hit flat he does brilliantly to catch it then wonderful balance now watch him now watch him go now watch him go terrific seeing him come up with these shots at a difficult time when the pressure is really on more often than not he clears just looking to go perhaps a little to the right of mid on. May have gone a bit too straight for his liking. And as a result, not in the middle of the bat. Boy, what a catch that was. And he knows he made a fatal mistake here. Go. Mid off takes the catch. Abdul Razak is gone. So this is working just like a dream for India. It was hit very hard, mind you. That's got to be another good catch by the Indians. Lazi the bowler, crashed by Abdul Razak. Bang, straight into the hands of Midoff. Very sharp catch indeed. This game's far but over. But that is a very good catch. Sharp catch, it looks simple. That's all in slow motion. He's hit that really hard. Well, it took it uh, next to his body. He didn't get his body right behind it. hit straight it's not hit off the middle 
But he keeps it away from uh, Patan, who does well get around there quickly. Patan won't get to that. It's landed uh, in front of the sideboard, so we can't see on the full. So it should be a six. No one straight on that occasion. So Shahid Malik is doing the right thing. When he's hitting, he's attempting to hit straight down the ground, not swing across the line of the ball. Just out of reach of that field up. And you can see the noise getting louder here. The few who have left the stadium in disappointment, the few who have stayed back and are starting to uh, wonder whether there is a turnaround here. Shoaib Malik heading on the up. Once he got rid of Mohamed Kev. Here comes the sweep shot, and again, eluding the fielder at 45 for another boundary for India. The buzz is back at the Gaddafi Stadium. Well, when you swing, you swing hard. Moin Khan, well, he's starting to find the middle of the bat. And that's danger signs for India. This bat is not over. That's gone quickly and fine. The second boundary of the over. Zahir Khan and India certainly have some problems now. Great batting here from Mohan Khan. Big one. But straight to hand. Mohamed Kev, the fielder for India. Absolutely ecstatic are the Indian fielders. They've got the big wicket of Shoaib Malik. Who was the big threat. And he's walking back to the pavilion. And he thought he had it enough there. He's whacked it. It's gone high. And through the haze and moths. And it's well watched, young man. Good pressure and a very good catch. Watched it straight into the hands. And Mr. Seawag says thank you very much. He breaks an important partnership and a very good hand too from Shoaib Malik. He's 65 and Pakistan in a lot of trouble now. Complaint and there's four more. Correction, six. This game is still alive. Well, he's certainly a fighter, uh, Mohan Khan. What a good strike that is. What a good strike that is. Six over extra. Well, we've seen young Balaji as a batsman cloud a few uh, extraordinary sixes near uh, the end of the Indian innings in a couple of matches. Now he's been on the receiving end. That's clipped away. Looking for the mid-wicket boundary. And he finds it. What a crucial blow that might turn out to be. Bowling, stumps everywhere, good intelligent bowling, Sami having to improvise and coming second on this occasion. Exposing his stumps, he really are just giving away too much. He went so far in fact that he was struggling to even reach it. It's the stumps. And it has been referred. In fact, Shoaib Akhtar is walking off. Well, was he dozing or... Let's see. I think he was easing up to get out of the way of the ball. And uh, see you later. He's been hit. What? That's what most players try and do, is get in the line of the ball, even if it hits them. So that was a mistake from Shoaib, and he pays for it with his wicket. Pakistan 250 for nine. And it's a great fight of Mohan Khan, but I think um, while Mohammed Sami was there, he probably felt they still had a chance. That's it. It's all over. Mohan Khan did his best. Balaji finishes it off for India, and the Indians are absolutely ecstatic. And as they should be. Just how important, Ian Chappell, is this win to India? Well, you can tell from the reaction of the players that um, they are extremely excited. The fireworks going off in the background. Rahul Dravid, who's normally not uh, too emotional, he was really uh, showing his emotions there when the ball hit the stumps. And... Um, it was interesting talking to Navjot Singh Sadhu just a while ago and he said that he thought this was 
most important win since India won the um, the World Championship in Australia in 1985, which is uh, makes it pretty serious. Saurabh Ganguly, the, the guys turned around and rushed to him when they saw him walking out onto the field, and a big smile on his face. They can be very proud of the way they've played. They got behind in the series, managed to level it when it looked as though uh, it was a task too difficult. And now they've won the decider. And they've won it uh, pretty convincing. The winners of the Samson Cup ODI series will go to Saurav Ganguly. Also the winning team award. It is a tremendous achievement. They were down and out initially in this one-day series. Came back strongly to win the Samsung Cup. And he's run away with the cup. He's a, a proud man today, Saurav Ganguly. Tremendous effort by the Indian team, really, to come back from behind and win this one-day series.